From inside a spacecraft, the Earth and space look beautiful. But outside the spacecraft, in space, it is a different and far more dangerous world. There is no oxygen to breathe, and there is dangerous radiation. Also, temperatures can drop to minus 120 degrees Celsius and rise to 120 degrees Celsius. But man has conquered this environment. In order to survive in space, astronauts have to wear spacesuits. The spacesuits are made from a very strong material and it is filled with oxygen so the astronauts can breathe. The first person to leave a spacecraft and walk in space was Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in 1965. He walked in space for 12 minutes. A few months later, astronaut Edward White became the first American to walk in space during the Gemini 4 mission. These early spacewalks were intended to discover if it is possible for man to survive in deep space. They were successful. Man can survive in space. Now, spacewalks are an everyday part of the space shuttle missions. Astronauts take spacewalks in order to do jobs that they can't do from inside the shuttle. For example, they have fixed the solar panels on the Hubble Space Telescope, and they are the construction workers for the International Space Station. But still, spacewalks are dangerous. Astronauts work in pairs, so if one astronaut has problems, the other astronaut can help. They are connected to the spacecraft so that they cannot float off into space and lose contact with the spacecraft. It is not easy to work in a spacesuit. It is difficult to hold tools in the big gloves. Also, the astronauts are weightless, and this makes it difficult to work as well. So how can the astronauts practice their spacewalks on Earth before they go into space? The answer is underwater. At NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, the astronauts can practice jobs that they will later do in space. Their spacesuits are adjusted so that they do not sink to the bottom of the tank or float to the top of the water. They are weightless. They spend a lot of time practicing in the tank. For every hour that they will spend walking in space, they spend 10 hours practicing underwater. As NASA moves forward on the maintenance and construction of the International Space Station, spacewalks will continue to be important.